and Sandheim are out there, are they going to be options for tonight? Yeah, I'm not sure what the lineup is, but there's certainly options. John, at the end of last season, you gave uh, Rocky and Brad a chance to kind of run the bench when you watch the games upstairs. Is it almost kind of, you know, like in, in retrospect, they're benefiting now because they can just jump in seamlessly? And run e the even if I didn't, they'd be fine. They've, they've run benches before. There is no, this is seamless. They'd be fine. From your standpoint, I know sometimes one of the guys will wear a headset on the bench. Will you? I'm not getting into the conversation. With, I'll ask, answer, go ahead. I'll answer this last question. What are you asking me? Well, I was just wondering if you're going to be on the headset. No, the no, to communicate your no, thoughts during the game. can't. Okay. Enough. Hockey. Willing to answer any hockey questions. John, with, uh, with your defensive pairs, it's, it's obviously gotten pretty thin with injuries and, and ailments. How much do you think is going to be now on Travis Sandheim and Cam York's shoulders to kind of start pushing offense and, and being a little more aggressive? Well, they are. They, they have been and they will be. Um, it is what it is with our injuries. Uh, we're just going to keep on playing. Uh, we're not going to uh, change or put an extra emphasis on uh, two guys. They know. Uh, as I said, the, the, the locker room is so uh, in tune to the, these type of things all year long as far as what's going on with our team. They know what they have to do. But if, if they feel they have to uh, be wild as far as getting up the ice, it, it doesn't work. they got to play their game, uh, probably end up having more minutes, uh, but just play their game, and the other guys have got to kick in. It, 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 there's nothing special we're going to do. we just got to try to be the best we can be as an individual player and as a team. Uh, when, the, when we're banged up as much in the back end as we are, the team defense comes into play. Everybody needs to kick in there to solidify us a little bit with some inexperience back there. Certainly that. Uh, but this time of year, we're trying to work on that anyway because uh, it's a big time of year as far as the grind and the defensive part of the game. When you talk about team defense, you know, thinking about the forwards, are there any tactical tweaks that get made or is it more just you trusting the forwards to maybe have the defenses back even more than usual? It's having the forwards, the awareness of our injuries, uh, of of the inexperience uh, uh, on our back end, and uh, just the awareness of uh, situational play in games. When it's getting, when we're losing ourselves a little bit, let's get back. Uh, let's protect around our net as we did our first year. That's all we worked on was how we're going to defend in front of our goalie. Uh, I... I I think, you know, I, I'm a believer everything happens for a reason. I think with all the injuries we have there, it's forcing us to concentrate on that a little bit more. I think it's a time of year to do that anyway. So this kind of doubles it up for us as far as making sure we're protecting uh, the middle of the ice and playing well in front of our goaltender and our offense comes off of that. With Denny Gariano, how do you balance adding a guy who you don't probably know a whole lot about to learning about him when the games are coming up so fast under this support? to give him an opportunity. He's going to get an opportunity tonight. Um, uh, you can see he can skate. Um, I've, I've watched him, uh, you know, when he was in Dallas. and uh, There's a lot of things there. I'm not sure what's happened. I'm not sure where, where he went off the rails. Remember that playoff? He had a hell of a playoff. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but he's ours. Uh, I like his size. I like his skating ability. We're going to give him an opportunity and see where we go. Same thing with EJ. Uh, I, I've known EJ forever. Uh, older now. Uh, uh, his game has changed from when he was, was younger. We're going to give him an opportunity and make a call from there. Uh, they're not guaranteed because we traded, traded for him that they're going to play all the games. We've got to make a call and see, see where they go as they get an opportunity here in these games. Adversity. Adversity. I guess how would you define that? And is this the time where we kind of pull those, like those kind of moments that are that give you adversity now that you believe will be? I, I, I t t two words. The two words I can't stand that we use is adversity and culture. That's all we hear. Adversity and culture. Change the culture. Um, I look at it as opportunity uh, for. 
Are you talking about the injuries we have, Jackie, or? Well, just over the course of the season, like things happen. Sure. That, 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 you know, like it is a word that is used a lot. Yes. Right? Like it's, it's used especially in short tournaments even, where yeah. you maybe lose the game and it's, it's, you, know, yeah. you might not be able to make a medal round or yeah. you have to keep waiting to make the medal round. Mm. It's just used a lot. Mm -hmm. and I guess my question for you is, is how does facing some adversity earlier this season, how are you able to pull it? I, I, I it's like you come off a 7 nothing loss, are you able yep. to pull I, 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 for especially where we're at, I think it's perfect because you find out uh, there, there's more responsibility comes into play. Um, it, it, it gives us an opportunity to see how certain guys react that we're still evaluating as we keep on moving forward with this process, especially where we're at here right now. And uh, so I look at it as a great opportunity for them and the coaching staff. Uh, to try to find your way. With, uh, with, with Yernov, you mentioned how you remember him. I, I was looking back at his game log. He had a couple big games against Columbus, I think, yeah. when you were there. Yeah. Did, did he really catch your eye and you could recall? I remember. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I've seen too many players, yeah. and I'm too busy worrying about our players. <laughs> so, But I remember him. Uh, you know, 20 goals and, and that playoff he had. And, I, and you watch him. He, he's got a lot of tools. How it went off the rails, I don't know. We're going to give him an opportunity here and see what happens. John, this is more of a long-term question, certainly not suggesting to do this now. But you've obviously been very complimentary of, of Tyson Forrester this season about his defensive acumen, about the details. I'm just thinking back to last season when you guys um, moved Noah Cates from the wing to center. Has there been any thought that maybe Tyson could, at some point down the road, get an audition in the middle? Given his no. No? You guys see him as a player? I haven't. That's the first I've heard of it, or even Serious. yes, no. Left wing, right wing. Gotcha. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, guys.